Let me set the stage for why we're having severe weather today. Check out the current temperature. It is 93 degrees right now, and the humidity extremely high. Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. We got bees in the corner above this brick veneer between, between floors. And I'm about to let this garage door down and cut the ceiling out. He's had bees in here once before, right here. Uh, same floor space, but they were able to open this wall and go in right there. This time they came out over here and went a little further over. Uh, the way that face is built, there's no way my arm would fit up in there once I pulled that out and tried to get around framing boards. So I could pull this last piece off, it seems, right here. So I could pull that off, but then there's no way I could reach all the way over in that corner. And if I go in the garage here, I got another foot of reach over in there, 14 inches or so. And so uh, according to my flare from upstairs there, more in that corner this time than over this way. There they are, up in the corner, just like I said. Still gonna be tough to reach. Good grief, man. I need some skinny arm people to come work with me. Yeah, man, it's gonna be one of them tough ones. That triangle framing runs out of that corner up there. That's where the bees are. The garage door track is in the way. It's gonna make it hard to reach. So I've gotta reach up in there with a spatula, scrape the comb out and back what I can. And then the rest of them, I'll use a repellent to run them outside and catch them on the outside. And it's gonna be a long process. So stand by. It's two hours to dark. This one of those ones that, uh, I show up thinking it's going to take me an hour, hour and a half, and I don't finish up until after dark. This is almost like a computer hive removal. It's all drag and drop. I drag the comb out and drop it in a bucket. Been looking for the queen as I go. She's not in any of this. I want to pick those up with the vac. And I'm going to start vacuuming. I know you can't see that up there. Maybe I'll get a shot of it real quick for you. probably can't really tell how tight this is there's my hand so by the time I get to my forearm it's getting pretty tight I can't uh, maybe I can there you go I can squeeze my phone up in there I've cut out four combs and I think there's three or four more to go I can see two for sure The BVAC that I'm using today is a battery operated backpack setup that I've used on the, this will be the third removal I've used it on. And pretty soon I'll be telling you how you can get one of your own. Kind of torture testing it. Um, I don't like to, to uh, rep something that I don't believe in. So far this thing is, uh, has been impressive to say the least. My dad has one and my brother has one. My dad used his for the first time yesterday and he was tickle pink with it and I'll show it to you in an upcoming video. Getting close to sunset. I took a little break come outside and make sure my truck wouldn't get rained on. I've been having to work with the garage door down, of course, because it's in the way. And I got my windows down in my truck. I don't know if you can even see those bees clustered up out here. I'm about done with the removal and I've got most of the bees when I get the uh, rest of the combs out. 
that's such a tight space up in there i'll vac what i can reach what i can't reach i will run out with honeybee gone and uh it's it's dark so they won't be going airborne they'll be clustering up on this on this wall outside this entrance be fairly easy to collect them at that point and uh, th this seems to be the only place they run into so i'm not really concerned about them piling up over here or anywhere else in the frame and that's it ceilings put back together the wall is closed off and it's about nine o'clock and i'm going home all the bees are in the bucket except for probably a half a dozen scattered around through the garage and i'm out blow this popsicle stand Let me get a double fish fillet and a large coke. It's gonna come out to be six dollars thirty cents for the first window. Thank you. Thank you.